I'm going to talk to you about opposition, opportunity, organization, and obedience. Clock me. Let's go. Let's talk about opposition. <laughs> By nature, we want things to be easy. We want things to be accommodated. We avoid anything that we perceive as painful or threatening. That we are like water. We seek the path of the least resistance. But what I want to do for all of you who have a tendency to look for the path of least resistance, that just because it's easy doesn't mean it's God. I'm going to say that again. Just because it's easy doesn't mean it's God. Some people lack the spiritual discernment, and they are only led by their circumstances. And if it's an easy thing, they think it's God. If it's a hard thing, they back up off it. But Jesus said this. He said, broad is the way that leads to destruction. You know why? The least resistance. Narrow is the gate, and difficult is the way that leads to life, and there are few that find it. That just because it's easy does not mean that it's God. That sometimes the most difficult things are putting your life, is God putting them there to develop you. That some people, in an attempt to always go with the crowd, the easy thing, the least resistance, that ease leads to destruction. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That sometimes going after the easiest, most obvious thing is the most dangerous thing. Can I tell you something? It's not supposed to be easy. When you're a person of destiny, you understand that opposition is not only normal, sis, but it's necessary. 